Hey, church, I am really excited for what God is doing in our church. We, there, are, there are so many uh, positive things going on. Um, we're in a new year. We're, we're on day 20 of 21 days of prayer. And I hope you've ex been following the blogs and, and just enjoying that. By the way, tomorrow, um, uh, day 21, is tomorrow and if you want to join us we're joining the church of the highlands uh live in our worship center uh for the 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 finale it's been really great i hope you've enjoyed that um we have men's ministry going we're ramping up student ministry we're really uh throwing a lot of investment there in the student ministry area it's going to be called elevate and all of our logo and information is is coming uh, for that. It's really exciting to see and Justin and, our, and Pete who are on our student ministries team being mentored by Pastor Randy Don Giovanni, one of our overseers, just marvelous. Women's minis Men's ministry has an event coming up. The women's ministry has a women's conference. This is an exciting time for us to just rally and grow and invite people as we point toward Easter. So um, really excited. I'm also excited about our 90 day challenge right now to tithing. And like I said, there I don't want anybody to ever feel like there's judgment, but I also or pressure, but I also want people to feel free. This is an area. Finances is an area we need freedom to talk about and to feel good about and to be excited. And so whenever the pastor talks about tithing or if you if you're in a small group and you happen to be talking about, finances and God and stewardship, it should never be uh, something that we should, oh, you know, feel bad about. It should be something we're excited about because this is an area that God gives us information and instruction and wants to bless us in that area. So having said that, I want to share my testimony. Michelle and I have a testimony about tithing. And so um, I want to share that with you. I want to uh, let you know how God is blessed. So after our first 14 years of marriage in the mid-1980s, after going to college, having a couple kids, uh, I felt God's call to go into the ministry. So I returned to my skill trade, which was computer programming, to make a little bit more money than I was as a teacher. And during that time, while I was making more money, we were strapped. We were absolutely strapped. We had so much debt. We had student loan debt from the bachelor's degree that I got. Seems like whenever we had kids, we never had health insurance. So we had hospital bills, medical bills. We had credit card debt and we had pressure. We, we, we weren't paying them and we weren't, and we were not tithing during this time. I was going to Bible college. We were pretty, you know, pretty well disciplined in the Christian faith, but we had not taken that step to trust God with 10% of our gross income. And so finally what happened was where I was working as an information systems manager and I'm going to Bible college and I'm making more money than I had before, I got a, uh, a my friend and colleague in the accounting department came over to let me know they got a wage garnishment for me. How embarrassing that was. One of my creditors was going to, wanted to garnish my wages, which is where they can actually take money and deduct it from your check and all that to pay off a bill. So I said, no, no, don't do that. And all during this time, some weeks we dropped $50 in the offering plate and feel pretty good, then 20, then 10, and then we might go a few weeks and nothing, give nothing. And so, but I knew in my heart, that's, that's not right. That's not what God has has shared. And so uh, God has said in his word that we should give the best, the first and the best of what we have. And he should be first. And that's an area which shows who's got first place in your life. So anyway, I, uh, I said, uh, we'll take care of this bill. We'll take care of these people. And Michelle and I prayed. And the first thing we did, we, we talked to God about this. And he reminded us that we were not tithing. We were not trusting him 
to rebuke the devourer because you know we had devourer means right you had more month than money your money gets devoured up by other things so we were paying other things and other people before we were returning to god what he said is his and we didn't want to be thieves and we didn't want to be stealing from god and robbing god and so and we wanted the blessings of god and we were sure in a tight tight place here so we started tithing. That was commitment number one. We started tithing. The second thing that we did uh, after we started tithing was I set up our bills in an orderly fashion so that we could pay our debts, not just our bills, but the student loan debt, the hospital bills, the credit cards. We put that on a plan. We didn't even have any savings at the time. It was just like money was flowing in and out. And, uh, and so we did that. And it took me seven years to complete my Bible education. We crammed a five-year degree in seven years. But at the end of that time, when we walked into my, when I went to take my first church to pastor, we had retired all of our student loan debt. The Bible college we paid as we went. We paid off all of our medical bills. We paid off all of our credit cards. We owed, we didn't owe anybody anything. We never missed a week of tithing, never missed a week of tithing during all of that time. And we are able to put about twelve to $13,000 into a 403B fund. So we, our experience is that God is good on his word. We tested him. We did the, we, we tested God and trusted him. And he came through like he said he would. And, and he always does. We didn't wait to get our bills in order first and then tithe. No, 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 because that, that, that doesn't work. And the math doesn't work. When you start adding things up, you'll find out that, how am I going to do this? That's the faith. It all starts with a step of faith. It all starts with faith. It's not about math. It's about faith. You have to trust God to do what he says he's going to do. Okay? You can't own the problem. And he has, one of you has to take the problem. You can't have it and he can't have it. So we gave it to him and we trusted his way and his way works. So you step out in faith, you trust, and it's miraculous. I'm a number cruncher. Believe me, I added up the numbers. They didn't work. But miraculously, miraculously, because we stepped out in faith, God, you know, God provided. He provided, you know. It wasn't that we knocked out these bills and then we had some money to tithe. No, we gave God first. All, before we even started the, the, the money management thing, we gave God first. So that's my testimony. We've been tithing for over 30 years. Today we give, Michelle and I give what we call a graduated tithe. We give above and beyond the 10%. Why? Because we've seen the blessings of God. And, 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 and you might, you know, if you're not debt free, you might not be able to give above and beyond Okay, until you are debt free, but you don't need to be debt free before you start tithing. In fact, my challenge is that you probably won't get out of debt until you do start tithing. Okay, um, so the like the word is, you know, um, God doesn't need your money. You need to be blessed. We needed to be blessed and we were blessed. And we've had 30, 35 years of just watching God do amazing things. Okay, my video is a little bit longer uh, than... Uh, what I'm asking you to do, but I just, that's good because I embellish a lot and I share a lot. But anyway, that's my story. That's our tithing testimony. And I pray that it's a blessing to you. Thanks.